ditty is the foundation of the claw hammer banjo style that's taught on easy folk. It's actually a simple movement with your right hand, but because it's different than other styles of picking, it's sometimes perceived as a difficult technique that's hard to master. Uh, I don't believe that's true at all. The bum ditty can be learned in just a few minutes, and at the end of this short video, you'll know how to play it. Now, having said that, once you learn the basics, it's up to you to practice until the movement becomes second nature. That won't happen in a week or two, and probably not even in a month or two. Over time, though, if you stick with the basics, this will become a very intuitive and natural motion, and you'll be amazed at how easy it is to play claw hammer banjo. If you've done any finger picking on the banjo or guitar or other similar instruments, you're probably used to playing some notes with your thumb in a downward motion. and you've used one or more fingers to pick other strings in with an upward motion. In Clawhammer, the thumb still plays notes with a downward motion, so that's basically the same. The other notes, however, are also played with a downward motion. Because all the notes are hit with a downward motion, some people call it down picking instead of claw hammer. And there are other names for this style as well, such as frailing, and some people uh, make fine distinctions uh, with the different names, but to me it's all claw hammer, and that's how I refer to it. And here are the basics of playing the bum ditty. You'll use your thumb and either your middle finger or index finger. You might want to try your middle finger for a while and then try your index finger for a while and see which one you prefer. Now for me, I started out back in the 1970s using my middle finger, so that's what I've always been comfortable with. However, a lot of people use their index finger instead, and I think you might actually get more volume with your index finger, and if I were starting out again, I'd probably try the index finger first and see how it works out, then maybe try the middle finger some and see which suits me best. I'll leave that determination up to you. There's no perfect way to do this. Uh, if you'll watch different players, you'll see a lot of different ways they play to achieve somewhat similar results. Keep in mind that playing banjo is an art form, and finding what works for you, then creating music that's uniquely yours, is a good thing. So don't be afraid to experiment. To play the bum ditty, you should hold your hand in kind of a claw position. Now, some people hold their hand pretty rigidly in that position, but I prefer to keep my hand just a little loose. Uh, something you don't want to do is pluck at the strings, opening your hand. You don't want to do that. You know, leave your hand in a claw-like position. And if you're like me, your hand's going to be a little loose as you do that. Just a little movement, maybe, as you bring it down. Uh, but not much. If you hold your hand rigidly in that claw position, then possibly there won't be any perceptible movement at all as far as opening your hand. I personally like just a little looser than that though. Either way, most of the movement in your right hand should be the result of bending your wrist. Think of it as knocking on a door. Now, since I'm using my middle finger, that's what I'll refer to, but it's fine if you're using your index finger instead. Now here's the basic movement. With the back of the fingernail, my middle finger, I'm hitting the first string. As I hit that first string, I want you to notice a couple things. First, as I already mentioned, most of the movement's coming from the wrist. You see that? The other thing I want you to notice is that as I bring my hand down and hit the first string with the back of my fingernail, my thumb comes to rest on the fifth string. See? Make sure you rest your thumb on that fifth string every time. You have to practice it slowly to get in the habit of it, and then gradually build up your speed. When you get to the point that you're playing at a normal speed, it happens so fast, it won't really be perceptible, but it's very important that your thumb lands on that top string every time it's not flying up by itself in the air somewhere, and because it'll be out of position that way, you don't want that. Uh, playing the first string, like that, is the bum in the bum ditty. So the bum is just a single note. It can be either of the first four strings. Now something else I want you to see is that when you're playing a single note on the second, third, or fourth string, you come to rest on the string below it. So if I hit the second string like this, my finger actually stops on the first string. 
It doesn't actually rest there, but uh, because coming straight down and hit it, hitting the string at the back of the nail, it should just naturally stop at the next string below it. Again, when playing up to speed, this won't be noticeable because it, it'll be so quick, but practicing it slowly that way will help you so you don't develop the bad habit of trying to avoid the next string by flicking your finger and moving your hand out of position. You don't, you don't want to do that. You just make sure and come down. Of course, this doesn't apply to the first string because there's not a string below it. But uh, you'll still want to maintain your basic position, and it'll, the first string will kind of be caught by your thumb there. And on the thumb, on the bum, you just lift your thumb up without making a sound. You don't play it. The ditty part is kind of like a strum. It's most often played on the count of two and four when you're playing in 4-4 four, four time. That's similar to a country strumming pattern or Carter style on the guitar where you're playing boom, chuck a 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 boom. Bum, ditty, bum, ditty, bum, ditty, bum, ditty, bum, ditty, bum, ditty, bum. It's pretty much the same thing, results uh, in a similar sound. So the ditty part is simply this. After you've played the individual note, the bum, you bring your hand back up without sounding the fifth string. Then you come back down, strum the first few strings, the back of your middle finger now. Make sure to rest your thumb again on the fifth string. This time though, instead of just lifting your thumb without making a sound, you want to pluck the fifth string as you come off of it. And that's the last half of the ditty. Very slowly, it's bum, ditty, bum, ditty, bum, ditty. strumming part as I said the first few strings because it's not all that important how many strings you're playing. It could be three strings or four or two or even just one. The most important thing here is the rhythm. So I'll play the bum ditty slowly a few times so you can practice along. Let's start with the bum on the first string. Go from the first string to the fourth string. Play each string on the way, then we'll reverse it and go back from the fourth, fourth to the first. So one, ditty, two, ditty, three, ditty, four. 